Oh, what is going on, everybody? Now, we are just a few hours away from the new year of 2018, and I am not wearing any pants. Yeah. Boom! Scratch off one of my resolutions already. Siege. Already killing it, bro. Now, thinking back on 2017, Round all I can think of is, holy dead. shit. Now, a lot of things happened in 2017. A lot of positives, a lot of negatives, a lot of fear, a lot of change, but most of all, fun. So I just thought I'd take a little look back on how my year went. Let's go. Now, the year started off strong with taking a group trip with some of my closest friends all the way to Tahoe. We had a snowball fight, I snowboarded for the first time, and then we got drunk and had our own Bruno Mars concert. Papa, it's showtime! Showtime! Guess who's back again? Right after that was February, my birthday month, and I threw one of the most banging birthday party bashes ever. It was with family, friends, drinks, and of course, puke. Yeah, no, we don't really uh, use that bathroom anymore. Thanks, Francis. I went to Disneyland for my friend's birthday, and then my six shuffling skills got me up on the big screen at Universal Studio City Walk. Boom, June hits, and I take a last minute trip to EDC. Was it smart? Probably not. Was it responsible? Probably not. But did I have fun? Oh yeah. In comes July, and I got to party on a yacht in Las Vegas for my boy's birthday. Now that was fun, man. It was just a close group of us, um, open bar, drinks all day, and then, and later that night, we went to a giant arcade and got to play an eight person beer pong game, which I ended up losing, actually. I want a rematch. Oh, by the way, this is the month that I almost died. Yeah, I'm glad that didn't happen. That would've sucked. But I definitely learned a lot. It's cliche to say, but life definitely is short, so you really gotta take advantage of the one life you live, man. Back to the positives. A couple weeks after almost dying, I celebrate life by going back to Vegas, this time for my boy Jerome's bachelor party. And bruh, that weekend was just so lit, man. We drank, we partied, we splashed, there was booty in my face everywhere, and I almost single-handedly started a rumble at the Hard Rock Casino. Oh man, yeah, that was, that was crazy. One week later. Back to Vegas, this time with my family who surprised my sister and I with a helicopter ride over Las Vegas, bro. Not long after that trip, I got turned up with one of my closest friends for his birthday at, you guessed it, Vegas. Just me. That's five Vegas trips in four months. Ask me how I survived. Go ahead, ask me. I did it, I did it. I'm completely dead inside. I don't wanna see Vegas for a very, very long time. And finally, to top the year off guys, I got a new job that I have completely, completely fell in love with. And anybody that follows me on Twitter knows that because I never stopped talking about it. I never thought I'd be so happy with a nine to five job, but the friends that I made out of it and being able to talk to people from all around the world to getting hooked up with free food and free drinks from time to time, how do you mad at that, man? And I do plan on staying there for as long as God intends. And my managers, because, you know, they're the ones that, like, determine that kind of stuff. So. All in all, 2017 has been a very blessed year for me. And after all the years prior to this, all the stress, all my hard work, noticed and unnoticed, I feel like I finally deserved it. I feel like I finally got that break that I've been asking God for for so long. So what does that mean for 2018? Now look, I'm not really one to make resolutions. Why? Because honestly, I fucking suck. <laughs> fucking suck at committing. <laughs> but I do know this, things can only look up from here. I do have a lot of stuff planned that I'm going to try my hardest to get done and stop being a lazy piece of shit to be honest. So hopefully I'll be pushing out a plethora of projects and contents throughout the year. Now I pray for nothing but the best for you guys out there as well. I pray that next year brings nothing but positive vibes and changes that way I can see all you guys prosper. Let's tackle 2018 together guys. I want to see all of us win. So with that being said guys, my name is George. I'm still not famous. 2018. Let's change that. And I will see you guys soon. Happy New Year. Peace.